President Rodrigo Duterte says Marawi City is liberated from terrorist influence Tuesday, but the military qualifies that statement. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby declare Marawi City liberated from the terrorist influence that marks the beginning of the application. AFP spokesperson Brigadier General Restituto Padilla clarifies in an ANC interview the war in Marawi continues. It will continue until armed elements are dealt with, but terrorists no longer have complete control. He adds there are a few stragglers left and some hostages that have not been freed. As this develops, the United States praises the Armed Forces of the Philippines Tuesday for killing Marawi siege leaders Islilon Hapilon and Omar Maute. U.S. Embassy spokesperson Molly Kashina says in a statement, the U.S. is proud to support the AFP's counterterrorism efforts in Mindanao through intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities and other technical assistance. Apilon and Maute died in clashes with government troops after midnight Monday, October 16, after the Marawi crisis raged for nearly five months. AFP Chief General Eduardo Año says the military will, in his words, fight and aim to put an end to terror groups in Basilan, Sulu, and Maguindanao by 2017. After the death of Isnilon Hapilon and Omar Maute, the next question from the public is, will martial law in Mindanao be lifted? In a press conference after the death of the terrorist leaders, Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana said the government is not talking about lifting martial law yet. He explained there's a need to assess the situation in Mindanao.